Sport. Let's go to correspondent Dean Bernardo uh, in Manila. Hello there, Dean. What's the latest? I gather authorities are saying the alleged orchestrator of uh, all this violence is expected to hand himself in. Yes, good morning to you. Yes, the report has been coming in that the Datu Unsai, the one who supposedly involved in Monday's uh, gruesome killing, has volunteered to present himself. Among them are some of his officials uh, who are part of the supposedly massacre last Monday. He is voluntarily going to present himself as part of an effort to try to appease the public, the public outcry from Monday's uh, massacre. And Dean, this uh, massacre uh, was uh, an extraordinary event, to say the, uh, the, the least, uh, political rivalries, apparent family rivalries. Tell us more about uh, how all that works and how it fits into uh, the grand scheme of uh, politics in the Philippines. Well, here during elections, we're having elections in about six months. We're going to elect a new president by May. The problem here, it is a traditional, or it is common for us to hear reports of violence depths even uh, related to politics or to the elections. However, the events happening last Monday hit the core, the intensity, the gruesome depth that has happened to all of those members of that rival political family has sent this country into an extreme shock, putting so much pressure on